is unhappy. It's sort of human nature or our tendency as humans to be unhappy with them or to feel like we can't be happy because they're unhappy. And when there are difficult situations or people are suffering or there's a pandemic, we, we tend to feel as if we need to commiserate with everyone and lower our emotional state, right? To be unhappy because everybody else is unhappy. And yet that doesn't have to be the case. And you being unhappy doesn't help other people who are unhappy. It actually, in some cases, makes the situation worse. I really believe that um, when you just add your unhappiness to the general um, misery of everybody else, that you're just compounding the situation. You're making it worse. Um, as I write, as, as, I, as I'm shooting this video, there, the COVID-19 pandemic is raging like a wildfire. Um, tapered off and now it's back full steam. We're heading into the holiday season and it's gotten worse. And, you know, people have died. Matter of fact, they're saying that somebody's dying every less than, you know, in, in, every minute or less somebody dies in the U.S. And um, people have lost their jobs and their livelihoods. They have lost family members. They have had their world turned upside down. And a lot of people are super unhappy. But being unhappy with them doesn't change, doesn't help you and doesn't really help them. And I'm not saying not to have sympathy. I'm not saying not to be compassionate. I am saying to watch the, your level of empathy. There are a lot of people who are empaths. Um, they're empathic, they feel everything. Um, I don't know that I have it as badly as some people, but I do feel it a lot. And, and, and when you're empathic and you've, you're feeling other people's emotions and that isn't helpful for you. Um, it does make you understand them better, but it doesn't help them either. Um, here's the thing. I, I was, I, this came up for me, re the reason I am shooting this video and I've written the related blog post that you can find on ninaamir.com um, is because I recently had an encounter with someone who uh, was in the hospital and was miserable because of their situation, you know, being in the hospital and their medical condition, all of those things. And I, I, knew, I knew that about this person and I had spoken to them several times and I decided on this particular day, I actually was feeling pretty good and I was pretty happy. I was upset about them, but I you know, wasn't letting that control my whole day. And so um, I, I got on the phone with them and asked them how they were doing and I was talking to them and, and the person said to me, why are you so happy? Like, because they were miserable, I had to be miserable. And that's how we've been raised, that it's not okay for us to be happy when other people are unhappy. And when people are super happy, somehow there's something wrong with them. Uh, my sister was recently telling a story about a friend of hers who was super, super happy. And um, our mother couldn't understand how come this person was so happy. She thought it was fake. And so we sometimes see that. We see people who are super happy and we're like, that just can't be real. They, they can't be like that. There are too many reasons for them to not be happy. So I want to distinguish for you the difference between being em empathetic, sympathetic and compassionate. So empathy is, is usually defined as, you know, really feeling what another person is feeling, okay? So that's the, you know, an empath feels everybody else's emotions and it's super hard. Sympathy, on the other hand, is understanding what another person is feeling without feeling it yourself. So that's, you know, sympathy for the person in the hospital or for the person who lost their job during COVID or um, lost a family member. Um, because of the pandemic. Sympathy is, is understanding what they're feeling, right? But not, have, not being em empathetic about it, not actually feeling it yourself, okay? Compassion means that your feelings prompt you to take action to relieve somebody else's suffering. So that's, you know, oh, there's somebody in the hospital and I, I, I get that they, you know, I understand, I have sympathy, I understand what's going on with them, and I want to help them feel better. So calling being cheerful was actually my way of trying to 
you know, bring some positive emotional energy to the situation with this person in the hospital. But they didn't see it that way, but still, you get the idea. So it's wanting to help. So how can you, how can you, so, so first of all, let me backtrack just a little bit. Emotions have a frequency. So they're, they're energetic. And so we have to be aware of the fact that our emotions are affecting others, right? And so that, that is a little bit like empathy, but basically whatever emotions we're putting out there are affecting those around us on a vib vibratory level. And so if you wanna help a situation, it behooves you to, to actually consider what kind of energy you're bringing to the situation. It's like that uh, Oprah Winfrey says that um, in her green room, there's a sign on the door that says, you are responsible for the energy you bring into this room. Very true. We're adding to the collective unconscious. We're adding to the energy of the world. So if we are stuck in the middle of a pandemic and we are um, just commiserating with everyone, we're not helping ourselves or anyone else. We wanna put some good energy out into the world. So how can you do that? How can you be happy no matter what? When there is a pandemic, when there is a natural disaster, how can you still be happy? Well, number one, you can choose happiness. It is a choice. You can choose to be happy, or you can choose to be sad, or you can choose to be anxious, or you can choose to be upset. It's your choice. So first of all, choose. Choose to be happy, okay? One of the ways to do that, so number two, is to focus on things that make you happy, okay? So that's the second way to be happy, is to actually focus on what makes you happy. So if you're feeling sad and you don't want to, and you want to choose to be happy, focus your thoughts on something that makes you happy because your, your thoughts generate your emotions. And so we want to, to play, pay close attention to where we're putting our mind so that, we, um, so that it's on things that make us happy. And that will change our emotions and make us happier. The other thing, number three, is to be sympathetic, not empathetic. And I've talked about that in this video. Um, don't feel what other people feel. Just understand what they feel. Understand what they feel. You can ask them questions about how they feel. You can really, um, you know, I've known some people who, uh, who were struggling to understand, to, to, to <laughs> struggling with people with different political viewpoints and the way they overcame that, the way overcame their judgment and their anger and all that was to ask questions because when you ask questions of something, you begin, someone, you begin to understand how they feel and how they think. So that's part, number, number three is to be sympathetic, not empathetic. So understand how they feel, ask them questions if you don't understand and, you know, but don't put yourself in their shoes. Number four is to be compassionate, compassionate, okay? Because compassion is about trying to help others feel better. And so that's, you know, a good thing you can do even during a pandemic or a natural disaster. You can help other people feel better and, and you're gonna feel better in the process. They're gonna feel better and you're gonna feel, have, uh, feel better because you helped somebody. So number five is to do what makes you feel good. So if you um, are unhappy, then go do something that makes you feel good. And that could just be exercise because exercise releases all these amazing hormones that make you happy. It could be getting out in nature like I am. It could be um, watching a, a movie that make, makes you laugh. It could be playing with your dog, but do something that makes you happy. Well, the thing I wanna drive home is that you're not a bad person if you are happy when someone else is unhappy, okay? You're actually a good person. And the more you're happy, the more you're adding happiness into the world. You're adding those good vibes out into the world to help others be happy. Um, I had a spiritual teacher, Stuart Wilde, and Stuart Wilde would look at things like 9-11 um, and natural disasters and pandemics and airplane crashes and his response to that would always be hmm, interesting evolutionary experience so he he kept himself a little bit removed he didn't he wasn't empathetic about it he kept himself a little bit removed so that he could see the lessons that were in it he could see the choices people were making and 
and, and that it did impact his mood. Um, now, he had the belief, which I have, that we all come here as spiritual beings in a physical body and that we, um, we make choices before we ever even come here about what we're going to experience and what we're going to learn. And so this idea of interesting evolutionary experience is, you know, the idea that we're choosing these things. We, we, you may not see how you could choose to be part of a pandemic or natural disaster or anything like that, right? To, to have a car accident that leaves you, um, uh, you know, mentally impaired or something. You may not understand that. But that understanding is one of we make these choices, we have experiences, so we learn things and we evolve. Now, if you don't hold that perspective, that spiritual belief, um, it still begs, not begs the question, but it's still um, that idea of having some perspective, of giving yourself a little distance from what's happening um, is is a really good way to be more objective and allow yourself to choose what you want to feel. So when you can stand back a little bit and say, oh, this is kind of interesting. Look at what's going on here. We have a global pandemic or look at that plane crash. You know, I wonder what people are learning from that or, um, you know, how, how we can uh, change things because of whatever happened. That begins to allow you to step back and not only learn, but choose how you want to want to respond to something. So a lot of us are just reacting all the time and we don't want to react, we want to respond. We want to actually intentionally respond. And so um, again, it's good to be sympathetic and empathetic, but then we want to actually make a choice about how we're going to feel. And that, that makes you a good person. It doesn't make you a bad person because you don't choose to be sad or miserable or stressed or fearful. So a bit of objectivity actually allows you to see the bigger picture. It allows you to be sympathetic and compassionate. Um, it allows you to choose your emotional state. And I suggest you choose happiness as often as you can. Um, from a spiritual perspective, we are told that happiness um, connects you to, uh, on a spiritual level. It connects you to your higher self, to God, to, uh, to all that is. And so if you're not happy, we're told, uh, we're told to be silly, to sing, to do whatever we have to in order to, to bring a little more joy into our lives. So um, right now during this COVID pandemic, you know, people have uh, COVID fatigue and they're upset about new lockdowns and all those things. Bring some joy to the situation. Choose to be happy and it'll be so much easier for you. You'll connect on a spiritual level. You'll help other, you'll uplift other people and uh, in general, make, it, make the world a better place and make whatever the situation is you're going through um, a little easier. So that's it for today. I'm Nina Amir. I'm the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I uh, help people combine their passion and their purpose so they get inspired and take inspired action. I help them uh, find ways to feed their soul because that's what I'm trying to do. I don't wanna have any regrets when I die. I can see how some of how I've lived my life is causing, would cause me to have regrets later. And I don't wanna have those. I wanna live my life fully and I wanna fill the, whatever emptiness is in my life with, with purpose and with passion and with spirit and uh, meaning. So if that's what you would like as well, you could check out my Inspired Creator community. I'll put a link up above, because that's where um, I talk about these spiritual concepts as well as personal development concepts, personal growth, so personal and spiritual growth. So if you would like to live a life that feeds your soul, click on the link above. If you're interested just in personal growth, you want to talk to me about high performance coaching, there is also a link above. <laughs> the, for you to fill out an application. And the information is also down below in the description of this video. There are links for both the Inspired Creator community and for, uh, for high performance coaching. So check out my blog, leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think. And until next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.